Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Hawker Philosophies. Happy you guys are all here listening to today's podcast. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that is very, very, very near and dear to my heart because it's something that I finally learned how to overcome and hopefully for a lot of you guys this will be a very impactful episode or even just like a good reminder. Of course my Bali tickets are on sale so if you guys want to go and travel with me, yeah, y'all can go to Bali with me. You guys can click the link in the description so you guys can book your spot. Payment plans are available which is really nice so come and join me and Char. This is going to be an all-girls Bali trip and if you want to change your life step outside of your comfort zone i mean what are you waiting for let's go to bali <laughs> today i'm feeling kind of tired i woke up at like 7 30 and then i went back to sleep i had coffee and i'm still really feeling tired and it's probably because i haven't really woken up like i'm still in bed but you know what chill vibes today and of course stay till the end because i will be doing a q a i'm gonna be answering your guys's questions so if you want your question featured of course just answer the little question box down below or comment down below in the comments if you're on youtube ask me all the questions you guys want i slowly will get to all of them as each episode progresses okay so a lot of you guys have been telling me that you guys have noticed that my energy has changed you guys have seen how my mindset has become way more positive i'm becoming more like a like a bad b you know what i mean like my energy has kind of returned because i definitely lost it for a little bit a lot of people were wondering where i went even though i was still posting content it still kind of just felt like something was off you know so a lot of you guys are wondering how i was able to pick myself back up and how i was able to find inspiration to create meaningful content again i think this is going to be a really good and meaningful episode because i'm pretty sure a lot of us have experienced burnout it's very common you could have burnout no matter what job you have and honestly the way to get rid of burnout is a lot easier and more simple than we think it's just when you're in the heat of it and you're feeling really low uninspired unmotivated it's hard to think okay what's gonna help me today what can i do i feel like burnt out to me can mean two things either number one you're no longer passionate about what you're doing or number two, you are neglecting yourself in some kind of way. For number one, you not being passionate about what you're doing. If you don't know if that's you, let me just ask you these questions or let me just explain this and see if this resonates. But not wanting to do something because you're not passionate means you actually dread doing it. You don't want to do it. You feel like it doesn't mean anything to you personally, nor will it make you happy doing it in 10 years. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that doing something with purpose or with meaning usually makes us enjoy what what we're doing if you're doing something that doesn't have either then maybe you should reevaluate it and think to yourself hmm what is there that i can do that will bring me more meaning and purpose as humans if we do something without meaning or purpose we literally don't care about it there's absolutely no attachment to it i mean maybe you're doing it for money maybe you have a job but you're feeling really burnt out maybe you actually don't like your job and maybe you need to find a job that makes you feel like you really do have a purpose or you really have a meaning for it and number two I said that you're neglecting yourself in some kind of way. A lot of times, the reason we want things is because they're meant to be ours. For example, I always want to create content. I'm always wanting to create YouTube videos. This is something that I have always wanted to do since I was like nine years old. As old as I could be, I love taking pictures and filming videos of myself. So I know deep down inside like what I'm meant to do, or at least I can understand slightly that what I'm meant to do and what my purpose is, is to create content in order to help others. That is my meaning. That's my purpose. And that's my passion. But you'll learn that sometimes even when you know what it is that you want to do or you know what it is that you feel very drawn to and you always have, sometimes it's really disappointing when we find ourselves not having any motivation or no inspiration to actually go for it. And so then we beat ourselves up for it because we're just here like, I want to do this, but I'm not doing it. What the fuck is happening? Like if you want to be a content creator, you know you have to film the videos. You know you have to put yourself out there, make those TikToks, YouTube videos, Instagram posts, but why aren't you doing it? And and it's truly because we're burnt out but i want you to know that when you want things it's because those things are meant for you something i've learned is whenever i get an idea or i have some sort of desire i know that that is meant for me and i know that that's coming from my higher self some version of me has it some version of me has experienced that and that's why i feel motivated to go towards it it's meant for me whether that is meant for me to have for the rest of my life do for the rest of my life or maybe that's just meant for me to experience so i can learn and so i can grow but a lot of times we are so burnt out that we completely skip out on these ideas ideas and desires and we rather do something else that is just 
non-productive to us we think is non-productive and it makes us just feel like shit and the reason this is happening is because you most likely have neglected some sort of you and you most likely need a metanoia metanoia bitch what the fuck is that <laughs> this is a new word i discovered and i really like it but metanoia means to change your mind or perspective a lot of times this could be spiritual or this just can be a mindset shift metanoia is also known as healing so now you need to take time to understand what you need to heal on and where this possibly can be stemming from you're burnt out because you need you time so from 2020 to 2023 i was really fucking burnt out and i didn't even know it I mean, actually, I kind of did because I was depressed as shit, had so much anxiety, and I felt the worst I've ever felt in my whole life. And I didn't even realize that the solution to this was right in front of me. Right when I was like 19, you know, I started making quite a bit of money for a 19 year old, to be honest. A lot more money than I could handle because I did not really know what to do with my money, which caused me a lot of anxiety. I was also so young, so I never experienced having such a large responsibility with a job, money, never having a job before, too. So so then I also didn't understand the value of money and there was just like a lot of things I was dealing with at the time also being a content creator I didn't really understand how to keep myself from burnout all I really knew was that I loved making content and I knew that that was meant for me but suddenly my mental health was deteriorating and because I was so young I had no experience with giving myself self-care truly and i never knew that self-care could be so deep it could be so internal you can think of me as a person living a shell and not really tapping into my inner voice like i knew what i like but because i was so young i was so inexperienced and i didn't know how to heal i didn't know that there was so much deeper inner vulnerableness that i needed to bring out of me and so i was basically living from a shell of ego and that's why i always say all the time that i truly feel i had my ego death back in October of 2023 so that means I was living from my ego for about three years which is so crazy to me but I tried you know those years I was definitely slowly progressing but you know a girly is stubborn and so change was a little bit difficult for me I would post but my content started to change I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys could feel it I lost a lot of life it felt like I was kind of living a shell of me a lot of people were wondering where my energy had gone even though I would try to act like i had my energy a lot of you guys were still noticing that like my bubbliness was gone and honestly like i feel like my bubbliness is definitely more mellowed out now but i will say i'm still a bubbly person it's just i've matured from being 19 like i am 22 almost 23 now so it's been a while like almost four years i noticed that a lot of people were telling me that my content was changing and i will say it's because of this reason by the point where i was feeling really really burnt out it's because my cup was full i no longer had any more of myself to give and that results in giving things that have literally no life no love no meaning you're just giving it's kind of like void you know and so i was feeling really burnt out and just like anything the solution to this is that we typically need rest we give 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 but we also need rest. How much can you give? How much of yourself are you willing to sacrifice until you have literally no more? The solution was quite simple. It was just that I needed rest, but being so young and not understanding certain life responsibilities, not really having anyone around me who was also a content creator, I didn't really have anyone to look up to. I was so burnt out and everyone around me was like, oh, you need a break, you need a rest. But once you're living an ego and you're living from a place of feeling like this is how you're supposed to operate, this is what you're supposed to do people will try to give you solutions but you're just not gonna hear it goes in one ear goes out the other i definitely was resisting i was like no i can't rest y'all but like i said back in october of 2023 i finally had my little ego death and i finally surrendered i was like you know what bitches i'm fucking sick of this shit screw everything i'm not making a video i'm not doing anything i'm finally just gonna fucking let everything go and i surrendered i surrendered to every single emotion and i tell you guys all the time emotions can't hurt you and so surrender to them because you need to allow all your emotions to exist i say that all of the time and i truly mean it i finally surrendered i gave myself grace compassion and i was just like fuck it let all your feelings exist i felt like a failure i felt like i had so much self-doubt and i felt like my life was going nowhere but you know what in that surrender 
I finally allowed myself to rest. While I was in my little rest period, you know, I didn't want to film anything. So I just sat in bed, I was watching videos, you know, I went out and did whatever I wanted to do with my friends, whatever, cleaned up my space, you know, I was just living. Even if it's just for a day, a two days, a week or two, if you need rest, you need rest. And you're gonna rest until you feel like you no longer need to. You are giving, 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 but you need to realize that there are times where you need to give back to yourself. Your cup is full, it's time to empty it, which is what you're doing, no longer giving to people. And once you've had your rest, you can go out there and you can start filling your cup again. But it's filling your cup, allowing it to empty, filling it again, allowing it to empty. So you can give, but you need rest, then you go out to give, then you come back and you take your rest and you do that again and again. And that's how you avoid feeling burnt out, doing things in operation, doing things when you don't want to. Think of it like this. As humans, naturally we breathe in and then we naturally have to breathe out, right? That's just like being burnt out. You're breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. At some point though, there's no more breathing in you can do and you're gonna have to let it out. And that goes for everything you do in life. You do things and then you take a break. You do things and then you take a break. And when I say take a break, I don't mean just doing the action of a break. They're not just a physical thing, you know? It doesn't just mean staying home, but then you're still thinking about work. Actually resting means to also surrender mentally, you know, allow your mind to just take a fucking break Stop thinking about the things that bring a little bit of pressure into your life, you know A lot of pressure is not too bad, but when you're taking your break, you need to surrender like actually And I know my little workaholic girlies over there, <laughs> aka me, because I'm like that I know a lot of you guys are like, no, I can't take a break because if I take a break, this might happen I might not make money, I might be a disappointment, I might run out of time, blah 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 Bitch, stop. You're living out of scarcity. You're afraid there's not enough. You feel like there might not be any room for you in this world. I'm telling you right now, a little break, whether that be a week, two weeks, a month, a fucking year, it doesn't matter because what's meant for you is gonna be for you. It's yours. And if you can have that trust in the universe, taking breaks is light work. It's nothing. And that's how I truly healed my idea with rest because after finally fucking surrendering myself to the universe and be like, I'm a disappointment, you know? Man, there's nothing left for me. I finally surrendered and I healed that part of me. And I realized that in taking that rest, my life finally felt so much better. I suddenly had these weird inspirations to make a video, to post, to do my makeup, get pretty, go do things that I actually wanted to do. Somehow, some way, taking your rest brings all that creativity back. It brings all that motivation back. But let me just say, if you're gonna take a rest though, don't do it expecting anything in return. Because at that point, you're gonna just put yourself back into a burnout mindset because a lot of us are burnt out because there are things we want that we're feeling like we're not achieving. And so we're feeling burnt out because we're trying, trying, but you have nothing left to give, you know? So if you're gonna take a rest, truly, truly take that rest. Something I want you guys to ask yourself is, and like I said, I know my workaholic people there people trying to achieve things and you want it now i know it's gonna be hard for you guys to work on this because surrendering definitely takes time i mean it took me about three years to finally fucking surrender and i was resisting so bad but take it from me if somebody would have told me these things i probably would have been able to surrender a lot sooner so please i hope you guys are taking this in and know that yes it's gonna take time but once you surrender hey, there's gonna be a rainbow. I promise everything is gonna be okay. You feel like you're gonna be running out of time. You feel like you might be a disappointment. You feel like you might lose out on something. Like I promise what's meant for you is meant for you. And if you don't believe that, maybe this is a good time to get back into spirituality or at least get into it and start connecting with yourself again because maybe you've lost your connection with yourself on this journey of trying to find yourself maybe you just need to realign with your inner person who knows but something i want you guys to ask yourself is where is my resistance coming from for me i felt like my resistance came from feeling like if i didn't work i would not be able to make money if i didn't work i wouldn't be able to grow my following if i didn't work nobody would want to watch my youtube videos anymore things like that but once you can come to that awareness and be like okay this is what i'm feeling i'm understanding it this is the perfect opportunity to work through it this is what we call like rewiring your subconscious mind a lot of times our 
burnout is coming from a lot of bad and negative beliefs that kind of hold us back and so now is just like the perfect time to just think about it and figure it out figure out how to rewire your subconscious mind and where are these negative thoughts coming from okay let's fix that you're thinking this one way okay allow that emotion to exist and be like okay i hear you but then follow it after hearing it with the affirmation you know reassure yourself you know what i'm feeling like a disappointment today i work and work and work and i see no progress and i feel terrible i feel embarrassed okay but i forgive myself like i give myself grace i give myself love i'm proud of myself for working hard and i'm proud of myself for caring so much but i'm going to give myself this time to rest and heal because i deserve to rest and i deserve to heal what's meant for me will come and there's nothing to worry about everything is in divine timing you know what i'm saying basically what i'm saying is the solution to your burnout is healing you need to heal something within you know and i truly say this all the time that healing is so important but i really mean it like it really is gonna help you in so many ways so yeah now's the time guys before you guys can give to others you have to give to yourself so heal rest and once you're able to rest and heal, then you'll be able to go out there again and be able to give. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the Q&A. Of course, thank you to everyone who always asks me questions. I really appreciate it. If you're listening right now, feel free to ask a little question in the description, in the little Q&A box on Spotify. And if you're on Spotify, go ahead and leave a little rating if you would like. I would really appreciate it. Now we're going to go ahead and do the Q&A. So the first question is, how do you feel more confident posting content and not thinking about what other people may think of you? I want to start posting content, but I get so shy because my brothers make fun of me and they put me down for it you know what i'm gonna just say how i would truly handle this situation to be a confident person is to really identify with that you are a confident person you wear what you want you do what you want you're fucking gorgeous and you know it and with that being your identity don't let anyone tear you down for that be who you want to be and if they tear you down for it just be like why are you projecting bitch hmm you want to make fun of my outfits maybe because you think your outfits are not cute Huh? Maybe it's because I grew up in a household where I was the oldest sibling. My brothers, they would never punk on me, you know what I mean? Because yes, I was confident, but I was also alpha, and my brothers could never. And so if I were you, I would shift my mindset, be that confident person you want to be, be unapologetically yourself, and if they want to be a little mean, go trip them. <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what? In reality, I would never say go trip someone, but hey, if it's your brothers, make fun of them back or just make them feel bad for being mean to you because why are they being mean to their own sister? I don't understand. But please let me know how that goes. I know that being confident in front of family members can be really difficult. When I was younger, I definitely dealt with this just a little bit when it came to like aunties and uncles, but I kind of got to a point where I was just like, you know what, this is who I am and fuck all of you guys. <laughs> and also I want to mention that I'm finally 22 and for years, I used to get bullied, I swear, by my aunties and uncles where they would just be like, oh, why are you trying to dress like a Korean pop star? And they would like, you know, kind of project or something. They were being mean to me, you know? Oh, why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing that? Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. I continue to be me, continue to be unapologetically a bad bitch, unapologetically myself. And guess what? Here I am living my best life and my aunties and uncles, they're out here telling people, oh, that's my niece. Or they'll be like, oh, I'm so proud of you. Like, yeah, you know why you're proud of me? Because when you used to say mean shit as a kid, I didn't take that shit to heart. I didn't let your mean words deter from who I know I am. So hopefully this motivates you because the same people who will judge you, they're the same people that will realize like, damn, she really did that. This next question is how to not rely on relationships. I think the biggest thing that gets people to rely on relationships is that company is nice i mean we all love to spend time with the people we love right but oftentimes we don't give ourselves our own time and we don't rely on ourselves because we don't know who we are we don't really trust ourselves and a lot of you guys i already know if you guys are still healing you guys are probably like mm, i can rely on myself no i know who i am but if you're spending every single day with your partner and you're not really taking any time for yourself you're not doing anything for you you don't know who you are you don't know what your future holds you don't know what certain goals you want to achieve if you haven't put any new year's resolutions you don't have any hobbies of your own you most likely have not taken any time to take care of yourself so i hope that you guys are going out there and trying to find new ways to learn about yourself whether that means trying new hobbies getting outside of your comfort zone watching podcasts gaining your knowledge figuring out other people's perspectives and thinking to yourself hmm let's reflect and see if this is who i am um, do i align with this people rely on relationships because they can't rely on themselves so think 
within and figure out how can I build self-esteem within myself so I can't rely on my partner so I no longer have to rely on my partner it's okay to spend a lot of time with your partner but make sure you're also giving to yourself this is the perfect time to learn to grow learn who you are and figure out how you can become that independent baddie because we all can I think that independence is such a flex and it's so attractive it's okay to be with your partner and be like oh, I'm feeling like shit today you know kind of just you know let it out a little bit but it's also such a flex when you can also self-soothe yourself be your own comfort zone i think it's just a balanced thing learn who you are before you can give yourself to others because then at that point you can find balance in everything and then this last one is relationships in teenage years in my opinion i think that all relationships no matter what at the end of the day are super insightful they teach you about who you are you know you learn so much about yourself but i would say that in your teenage years you are the most impressionable and these teenage years these relationships are gonna teach you <laughs> that's all i gotta say they're gonna teach you but honestly do it date because no matter what you always learn more about yourself with every relationship so date learn honestly a lot of people are like oh don't date your teenage years it's a waste of time no it's not because at the end of it you always learn about yourself so i say fuck it we ball so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time bye